Advanced actions in Adobe Captivate have been really helping the power users to create interactive e-learning content with a lot of branching possible because of the variables and the advanced actions they can create using it. Now there's a good news for them. In Adobe Captivate 7, we have introduced a new concept of shared actions where you can share an action in the same project or in different projects. Yes, you can now import and export these shared actions and work wonders with your projects. Let me take you through this new workflow. Here I have this course. Let me just preview with this. Here's a screen with some click reveal text and images. So when I click on this particular uh, text, the text is highlighted. There's some glow effect that is added to it. There is this text that appears and an image that appears. So for this, I have written an advanced action to hide rest of the text, show this text, show this image and hide the rest of the images. Plus I've added this glow. Now you won't believe I have just written one shared action and then I have added those uh, object names to those parameterized shared actions. Let me take you through it. So I'll just close this preview and here I have uh, this particular uh, course in the start state where I have not added any actions at all. If you see these are uh, smart shapes that I've added and I've added some text to it. Let me just select all these uh, smart shapes and we will use them as a button. So I'm just selecting use as a button and you can see that there's a lot of text out here. What I've done is I've selected all the text captions for all these five buttons uh, and grouped them as all captions. Also, similarly, there are five pictures. I have grouped them and named them as all pictures. Now let's write some advanced action. So to get a shared action, you have to either create an advanced action and convert it to a shared action, or you can take any of your old project and use those advanced action and convert them into a shared action. Let's take a look. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create an advanced action. So here, let me just uh, name this as click reveal. And here what we want to do is we want to first, uh, so on click of each button, what we want to do is we want to show the related text and the related image. Okay. So for that, we have to hide the rest of them first. Otherwise, if you click the first one and then the second one, the first one will remain and the second will appear. So first let's hide all the stuff. So I'm just selecting edge here and it shows me hide and you can see that now instead of that green and red icon we have this icon which indicates clearly that it's an incomplete action we have to complete this line so i'm saying hide and i'm saying all captions and now you can see that that um, sign is changed to a tick mark indicating that this line of script is complete now let's go to the next one and we have to hide the uh, pictures. So I'm selecting hide pictures. Now what we will do is we will uh, write an action for the first button and then we will convert it into a shared action. So I've hidden all these captions and pictures. And now what we will do is we will say show the first um, caption. So that is named as C1. So I'm pressing C on my keyboard. It shows C1. And then I want to even show the P1, which is the picture one. So I will say hide all captions, hide all pictures, and just show me C1 and P1. Also, you saw that glow effect on the text. So we'll add that effect. We will say apply effect. And here we will select B1, which is this button, and then we will select the effect. So here color effect, I will say set glow and I'm all set. So this is the set of actions we require for each button. The only difference would be uh, to select these three uh, you know, objects, which will be different, which will be B2, P2 and C2, B3, C3, P3 respectively. So we will just save this as a shared action now. So there's here, there is a button. Uh, previously, it used to be only save, which used to save the standard or conditional action. But now you can save the standard or conditional action as an action 
or a shared action so i will just click the shared action and here it gives me an opportunity to add some description to this particular shared action so that when i export it to any other project or use it for any other slide it is easier on me to understand what it does so i will just add a short description here this action will allow me to show the pictures and captions related to each button use it for a click reveal oops text screen so here I have this description ready and uh, next time when I use this particular script, I will understand exactly where to use it. So I will just name these parameter descriptions. So here uh, select the caption group okay, and all pictures, uh, it is actually the picture group. And then you will say related caption. Let me copy the word related and I'll say related picture and then related button. So I'm just pasting related word here and typing button. So I have all these things ready and now when I hit save, this action is saved successfully. So now it's time to use this action. So I'll just close this out and I will select the first button. Let's use a shared action here. So just go to the action pan, uh, action accordion and here you will find execute shared action just below the advanced action. So I will just select this uh, execute shared action and we have just one action here and I will select that. Here we have button here which says action parameters here's the place where you will define which buttons or captions or pictures will be affected by this so i will click this and it will allow me to choose all these parameters so i will say caption group is all all captions and then i will say all pictures and here it should be c1 here it should be p1 and here it should be b1 okay and i'm saving it so this action is done now i'll apply the same action to the next button so i will select this and here i will go and select execute shared action and we will use the same shared action and click the shared action parameters button now here i will again go and say all captions all pictures so i don't have to worry about thinking about uh, the you know the logic that i have to use i have to just go and make some selections so i will just select c2 here this will be my p2 and this will be b2 okay so i have selected all these things and i have saved it now let's preview this i'm not applying it to the other uh, objects you can do it easily by just changing these parameters let's begin this and you will see that when i click this you see uh, the text and the image and the glow on the text just like that and when you click the second one the glow remains indicating that that, had, that has been clicked and uh, you see the related text and images cool isn't it okay so let's uh, see something else here which is more fun now you can easily import or export a shared action also what you can do is you can convert your existing advanced actions into a shared action so let's see an action here that i have already created for this course so this is a course that i had created some time back where uh, this assessment module is enabled only when these four modules are clicked what i have done here basically is i have an image of assessment button in a disabled state it is actually a static image and then i have a button on top of it which is hidden on initial state what I'm doing here is that I'm checking whether they have visited these modules or not and changing the value of a variable based on that. 
So let's see it quickly. Uh, we'll, we'll look at the advanced actions. So the, here are the five actions that I have for this course. The first one is check module completion. It's a conditional action which basically checks whether M1 is equal to 1, M2 is equal to 1, M3 is equal to 1 and M4 is equal to 1. And if you look at the variables panel, you will find that I have four variables here which are uh, which th there is no value for it and I'm changing the value based on their visiting the entire module or not. Okay, so uh, our variables are set and we have these actions. Now I will save this as a shared action and along with this shared action, the variables that are being used in this action which is M1, M2, M3 and M4 will also be saved. That's cool, isn't it? You don't have to worry about creating those uh, variables again in your new project. You just have to export it, import it there and forget about all the worries that you had to have in the past. Okay, so here check module completion, um, assign this variable, oh sorry, this action to the start of menu page to check module completion. So you add a description that makes sense to you. Here you will uh, notice that the rest of the actions that were here this, in the script, we just have the variable names. So it skips the variable names, it remembers them and it doesn't ask you to define those variables again. You just have to let them know about the button that is affected. So here the assessment button name. Okay. So I just say assessment button and I will save this action this shared action is saved we will do the same for the other four actions which will be assigned to the next button of the end of each module so i will just save this again here what what we are doing is we are just assigning a value to the variable and we are jumping to the menu page okay so i will share uh, save this action uh, assign on the end of first module I'll just quickly copy this so that I can save it for the rest of the uh, shared actions as well. So here, this is menu page, okay, and save it. So I have given some description here. Let's go to the other three as well and save all these actions. So, okay, save. Just two more. Okay, so here save as a shared action and here I will say third and here I will say menu page and save it. Okay, and then I have this last module here I will save it as a shared action, add a description, change it to fourth and I will say menu page okay i will save it and now it is saved successfully so with all the shared actions saved now we have to export these actions so that we can import it into a new project so what i'll do is i will click this export button and it will allow me to select the action that i want to export and browse to a location and export but here it allows me to export one action at a time. I want to export all of them. How do I do that? So here if you use this option easily uh, if you have just one action that you have to export but you have a bulk of advanced actions that you've created go to the library panel and you will find the shared actions in the library panel. Just select uh, shift select all the um, you know actions right click and say export export it to your favorite location i will say just aa and or maybe sa and say okay so this uh, will be saved on my desktop with the name of sa now what i'll do is i will go to this new file which is of a similar structure i just want to use those actions in this file as well so previously what would i have to do i would have to go look at the variables that are created advanced actions that are created and then write it again for this new course 
painful isn't it now you don't have to go through all of that at all now what you have to do is just go uh, to your library panel if you have a lot of shared actions and you want to import it just right click the shared actions and say import uh, go to the folder that you had created and shift select all the actions and boom they are here and it says five items have been successfully imported now all you have to do is assign those actions to the places where it was required let's do that quickly and see if it works as intended so i will uh, go to the menu page and on menu page i want to associate this action on enter so um, i want to select check module completion i'll go to the parameters and here i just have to define the assessment button so i will just select that quickly and save it that's it i had to do nothing else to make this work now uh, this action the end of module one i have to assign it to the next button on the last page of module one so i will just go and change it to execute shared action end of module one change the parameter to uh, go to menu page and save it that's all uh, let's do it for the rest of the three modules as well we'll do it quickly so this is shared action and we will select end of module 2 and change it to menu because here we are just um, changing the value and moving to uh, sorry jumping to the menu page so we just have to define the menu page here and this is module 3 and again menu page and then oh, oh okay so this is done and then module 4 ends next button and we are all set so i will just select this and we will name this as menu save it okay now let's test it out so i'm pressing f4 on my keyboard to uh, preview this particular project and see if it works so i'm starting this and you can see that it is in disabled state right now i click module one next next so when i click next here it should jump to slide and it will change the value okay let's go for module four next 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 and it comes back let's go to module two and it ends and i'm going to module three and now when i come back this should be green okay so i click this click this click this and i come back and the assessment module is ready when i click on assessment it, it gives me access to the assessment module so here it's pretty easy to use all these shared actions and it is it makes our life simpler you can use these shared actions in the same project or on in different projects and the best thing is that you can even take your previous courses that you have created open them in captivate 7 and convert your advanced actions to shared actions the best thing would be to create a repository of shared actions and keep it at, at a handy place where from where you can pick up those advanced actions and use you can also modify these advanced actions. Let's quickly uh, do something here. So let me just go back to this particular uh, course where we had added the advanced action. So what I can do is that instead of creating from blank, I can create from an existing shared action and then, uh, you know, save it as a shared action. So here, along with this, if, you, if I want to do something else as well, what I can do is I can complete the script first and after that, just complete this first okay so this is done and along with this I, I also want to maybe add an effects uh, to the caption so I will just say apply effect and I want the um, you know effect to be on the caption and here the effect I want is color effect or maybe uh, da, 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 entrance and I say flying from top right. I want this effect to be added to the uh, caption. Along with showing it, I want it to be flying in from top right. And I will save this as shared action. Again, it allows me to save it as, as this and then I can apply it to any of the objects that I require. I hope you like this feature and you'll be using it extensively if you are an advanced user. It will allow you to share your actions uh, in your project, between projects and even between your friends. Thanks for watching this video.